Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today is a nice warmer day and I'm feeling better and stuff. But Eric anyway went and I went to visit his house and last week you saw all those nice big ones he cut open. There were more that I had left but I wasn't feeling well enough to stay around longer so I came back early. He finished cutting those so I'm going to show those to you today. In addition, I've been doing a little bit of work around here because I've got some news for you guys. So, I have a whole bunch of these rocks sitting around <laughs> that are stuff that either need to be cut open or just put somewhere else. Um, bunch of stuff, yeah. And here are the ones he got cut open for me, so we're gonna take a look at those here soon. But there's a reason I brought all these down. It's because I need to get them packed. So, uh, I've, I haven't been really happy with the job here in Grand Junction. The job itself has been okay, but it's not really what I'm looking for. And financially, it wasn't working for us. Between how much we're getting paid, the insurance, and the cost to live here, it wasn't working. I found a new job, and it's kind of what I was looking for. I, I'm excited. Like, this is really something I've been looking for that I've been wanting to do. It's gonna pay a little bit more and it will be able to live somewhere where it's a little cheaper. So my wife and I are going to be moving to southeastern Idaho, the uh, Pocatello area. For those who are familiar with that area, it's a, it's a neat area and I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna open up a new place of rock hounding. Now, admittedly, there is a fair bit more rock hounding here around Grand Junction, especially when you go over into Utah. Idaho's not bad either. There's a lot of good potential there, especially when you get up into the mountains north of the Snake River Valley. So I'm looking forward to it. So we're going to be moving at the, near the end of May, so a little over a month. Yeah, but no month. <laughs> we've got about a month left. Yeah. Yeah, we've got about a month left. And then we're going to be moving. Exciting. On top of that, I'm feeling a lot better. My doctor just cleared me to be able to lift things again and basically start doing all the things I used to do, but work myself into it. Got a lot of muscles that need to be retrained. Still got some things that need to feel a little better, but other than that, I'm doing really well, so yes. Anyway, let me show you the rocks that Eric finished cutting that I had left at his house. So to start off, this is one of the ones that was given to me by a subscriber. Actually, I think it might have been from Dustin, who's got his own channel over there in uh, Missouri. And this is Kind of one of those geode nodules they get out there and you can see how it fills in with quartz it's nice Let's take a look at this one first and look back at that one nice quartz crystals there in the middle here we have a dugway geode that fractured on this side into three pieces this one stayed intact though and looks nice that look at that really good looking geode Unfortunately, that side broke. That happens sometimes. Here's another one of the nice septarians from Eric's Claim. We'll take a look at this side. Nice. And then we'll take a look at this side. Another good Dugway geode. Oh, look at that one. That's a good one. Really good one. Here's the other side. Got a little bit of blue in the bottom of that one. Eric was also kind enough to polish up some things I had. So here's some red horn coral I had sitting around that he polished up. Very nice. Just another piece of the red horn coral. I like that one a lot. And this one finally. Another good one. Here he took and polished up some of the fluorite. The fluorite actually... <clears throat> the fluorite actually polished up better than I thought it would. Cool. And here's some of that black agate. Once again, it's kind of hard to tell without light coming through. Maybe the sun will come back out here again and we can let some light through that. Trying to angle it maybe so you can see things a little better. 
they polished it up and it looks quite nice. Here's another Septarian from his claim. And he polished this one up for me. Look at that. It's a very nice one. Very nice. Here's the other side.